Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about the one more important concept of uh, uh, 5G that is uh, bandwidth part. Okay, so the thing is, uh, I was talking about uh, uh, the increase in the bandwidth uh, support in case of 5G, right? Uh, we are moving from uh, in case of 4G, uh, we had maximum 20 megahertz only, but in case of 5G, we are uh, uh, reaching up to 100 megahertz and even 400 megahertz and, and and even 800 megahertz like that right so now the thing is when we are going to increase the bandwidth like this uh, to increase the data rate uh, we need to understand the challenges that it would bring in but why why we have to understand that uh, if we understand the challenges uh, then uh, we can propose uh, um, the different concepts uh, uh, to 3GPP in order to overcome those challenges, right? So that is one way. So you can, you know, uh, propose uh, many concepts um, to overcome the uh, challenges which we have. The second one is based on these proposals, uh, uh, the IPRs, basically the patents would be filed. So this is how even, you know, uh, things would be taken care uh, uh, while filing the patent. So now we will see what is the challenge that this higher bandwidth is blinking for that we need to understand uh, you know few things uh, few constraints at uh, um, base station and uh, uv side okay so one of the important thing is uh, base station has no challenges with respect to power consumption okay uh, we can say that it has uh, uh, it can consume a lot of power um, power uh, is not a problem but whereas UV since uh, most of us uh, are already using mobile phones we know that uh, how important uh, is the power consumption you want to have your battery life uh, for a longer uh, uh, period of time right uh, so power consumption matters a lot in UV now the thing is let's say for example if you are going for um, 20 megahertz versus uh, 100 megahertz okay so what are the things so yeah, definitely here uh, less signal processing time right so here it is more and 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 here uh, we have many rf components and many devices which will work for a uh, smaller uh, bandwidth whereas here uh, things have to work for a wider bandwidth so because of these two reasons what is going to happen so one is uh, uh, that uh, the power consumption increases so for higher uh, uh, you know higher uh, bandwidth uh, power consumption uh, increases a lot and and moreover uh, you want to operate your um, filters devices at wider uh, bandwidth even uh, your device might become a little bit bulkier uh, and uh, and as well as costly it can become costly so but the thing is that not all uv okay uh, not all uv uh, wants to support uh, 100 megahertz because some uv's uh, their um, their requirement is to go for uh, lower data rate support okay um, their requirement is just to lower data rate in that case they can go for a smaller bandwidth uh, uh, right uh, and um, and also we know that not all uv's are costlier so we need to give the flexibility to the UVs uh, to support, uh, you know, all all kind of uh, services and all kind of uh, um, parameters. So we can say that uh, to support a different kind of UVs, uh, we can. Uh, there was a new concept introduced so that is nothing but the bandwidth uh, part. Okay, so maybe this entire okay, uh, 100 megahertz. Uh, would be divided into different bandwidth part uh, each of them can be 20 megahertz uh, uh, some you know uh, so, some some can be 40 megahertz 10 megahertz and things like that so this one bandwidth part can can be allocated to one uv and another bandwidth part can be allocated to another uv and uh, and we can ensure that when, wherever there is a larger bandwidth this uv has a uh, um, the demand for a higher data rate and this UV might not be having a demand for higher data rate and even it might not support uh, uh, you know the costlier uh, equipment uh, um, so 
so such kind of flexibility is given in case of uh, uh, 5g right so by that way what happens uh, we are going to actually uh, ensure that uh, the uv circles are being less power all right so then what else even you know across these uh, bandwidth part we can go for um, having a different subcarrier spacing okay here it can be uh, 30 kilo subcarrier spacing here it can be 15 kilo subcarrier spacing and things like that uh, depending upon the uh, scenario and depending upon the services uh, provided across each uh, bandwidth part so i hope uh, with respect to bandwidth part uh, you got the clarity um, and uh, you got uh, what advantages that it is bringing uh, in terms of uh, uh, the power consumption in terms of uh, a cost in terms of uh, the size and things like that and also in terms of services um, and flexibility in uh, uh, providing uh, the services and things like that uh, and uh, and you also got to know why uh, this bandwidth part is introduced uh, i hope it's clear from uh, this video uh, thank you very much uh, have a great day um, in, the, in the upcoming videos i'll try to bring in much more 5g concepts uh, uh, so please do subscribe to the channel till then bye bye